Welcome back to Speed Theory Performance. Today we're going to be installing the short shifter kit from Turner Motorsports. It contains the lower shifter arm with bushing, the shifter cup, the upper shifter bushing, the spring, the spring retainer, and the snap ring, as well as the upper shifter arm. I also bought the rally shifter. The tools you're going to need is going to be snap ring pliers, two picks, a flathead, a 2.5 and a 3 millimeter hex head, and then either a razor blade or a knife. Step one is to remove the retaining clip for the selector rod. It's circled in the picture, you're going to use that flathead screwdriver. The retaining clip is off and now we're going to have to pull out the selector rod from the shifter. Go ahead and let it hang out of the way. Now we're back top side, start off with removing the shifter knob. Now go ahead and take off the skirt. To remove the trim, you're going to have two Phillips. Mine's extremely broken, so it's basically hand tight. Once you get that done, we're going to move on to the foam. Now you're going to disconnect the connectors for the windows, and then after that, go ahead and simply remove the foam. Now we're going to be removing the rubber boot. So it goes around in a circle, obviously like a donut, and it has two layers, one that's above and one that's below the chassis. It basically has a, a lip inside of it. So you're basically going to start by peeling back at the front. Your goal is to expose the bushing for the stock shifter. Now we have the bushing exposed and we can move on to removing the shifter from the shifter arm. To remove it, you're going to have to rotate that bushing approximately 90 degrees and then you're going to be able to pull it out. So here's the lip on the shifter arm where that bushing actually clips in. And on the bushing, there's several lips, but there's gaps in between. So your goal is to rotate it that 90 degrees to get it in between the two gaps and that's what allows you to pull it out. I originally wanted to film this portion, but I did not capture me actually removing it. Okay, so we're moving on to install. So in comparison, you can already tell that the new lower shifter arm center ball is significantly higher, and that's what's going to shorten your throw. You install the new lower shifter arm with the bushing into the shifter cup. Then the upper bushing the spring, the spring retainer, and the snap ring. Now all I'm doing is applying some generic grease to coat the inside of the shifter cup. And I'm also going to put a little bit on the bushing and the ball itself. I just don't want metal to metal contact and it seemed like a pretty good idea. This is the grease I used. It's what I had lying around in the shop. Here we have the lower shifter arm with the two bushings in the shifter cup packed full of grease. Now place the assembly into the shifter arm, place the spring, followed by the spring retainer. Now install the snap ring via snap ring pliers and once that's done we can go ahead and secure the whole assembly to the shifter arm itself. Place the bracket for the shifter cup underneath the lip on the shifter arm. After that, go ahead and slide the assembly into the hole. Use the two 3mm hex heads to properly secure it. Now you want to alternate between sides, that way the clamping force is equal and you don't get a lopsided effect. I would also recommend using a screwdriver that can have the 3mm attachment to it. It's going to make it a lot easier. I didn't do it, but in retrospect, it could help you out. This is what it's going to look like once you're done. Whole assembly is nice and tight. Now we're moving on to reinstalling the rubber boot. You have this front facing arrow that you're obviously going to want facing front. Duh. And you have this lip right here, which is going to be in between the top and bottom of that metal chassis portion.
with the rubber boot reinstalled you're going to want to now cut and trim it you're going to cut down and expose the shifter cup assembly this is so that you can adjust the throw length so now you can see that the rubber boot has been cut and trimmed exposing enough area for the throw length to be adjusted now you're going to want to go underneath the car and reconnect the shifter arm you want to ensure that that opening on the lower shifter arm is facing forwards All right, now it's time to reattach the selector rod and then to replace that locking clip. Now it's time to adjust the throw length, the 2.5 millimeter hex head to loosen the locking screw, and then you have the two picks to rotate the ball. Rotating it clockwise will lengthen it and counterclockwise will shorten it. So now your throw is adjusted. If it's not perfect, it's all right. You're always able to go ahead and readjust it to whatever length you want. Go ahead and replace the foam and the trim. Don't forget, when you're replacing the trim, you're going to have to reconnect the connectors for your windows. Also, if your trim's broken like mine, I found just using some generic washers underneath the bolts or screws, I should say, it makes a, a lot more pressure and holds it in place way better. Now we're going to be installing the rally lever. It's the same process if you're installing the regular shifter that comes in the kit. So the first thing you're going to do is install the lever itself and then tighten it. Once it's tightened, you're going to be able to put back that skirt. This is where that 2.5 millimeter hex head is going to come in clutch. Slide the skirt over the lever and then using the clips on it, you're just going to place it back into the trim. And there you have it, Turner Motorsports Short Shifter Kit installed. You can see that the detent for fifth gear on my vehicle has failed. I'm going to be making a video of how to drop your transmission and fix all your detents. But other than that, here's me running through the gears. So far, I can say that I really like this kit. Thanks for watching this DIY. I want to go ahead and say thank you to Turner Motorsports for making a really cool kit. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.